Hi, welcome back to Excel Power Tips. Today we're going to talk about um, how to take a certain pit, bit of text, or what the programmers will call a text string, which basically means a piece of text, out of a larger cell and find out whether it's there or not. Sort of like detecting whether it's there. Now, if you only have 10 keywords or so, you can pretty much visually see, like if I was looking for the word CNC, I can see that th this, these have it, um, this one has it, you know, that if I look at the first 10 words, I can see that these have the words C and C and these don't, okay? But um, that's not very uh, efficient and very automatic to do it that way, especially when you have roughly 2,000 keywords like we do here. So I want to find a better way of extracting those. And I'm, I'm going to use a, a formula called isNumber. Um, and what I've got it, the formula set up to do is to refer to the cell right above it. So the first keyword I... I I want to extract is C and C. Um, I might have some other ones in a minute here. So now a little bit of a, a kind of an iterative process, meaning we go back and forth between the worksheet that we're working on and this, this area over here. So uh, what I'm doing right now is trying to figure out which other words might be representative enough to, to include as one of the categories. Um, C and C clearly is. Um, the word, this one, look, doesn't have C and C in it, so that's a clue to me that I want to add that as a possible category. Uh, I'm going to use the word cutting as that one, for that one. Um, and then all I'm doing right now, like I said over here, is I'm just creating categories that I might want to look for as, as, as keywords within here. I'm going to look for the word router. Now, remember, some of these might be, uh, some of these keyword categories might be repeated uh, more than once, like this one has C and C and router in it. That's okay. Um, I'll explain the way the formula works in just a minute. Um, let's look for um, let's look for the word engraving. Let's look for the word uh, plasma, and let's choose one more here. Let's look for the word. Uh, do I have router? Yep. Let's look for the word. Um, looks like that pretty much covers most of them. Let's look for the word table, just because. So this this first row here is are the keyword categories I'm looking for. Right here, I have the the formulas entered that I want to what I want to use. Um, so what I've done is um, let's look at this formula. It's called the is number formula, and all it's doing is it's referring over here to this to this cell, and it's saying basically if if uh, C and C, it's basically saying if the contents of E1, which in this case is C and Z, uh, is in that cell, then go ahead and write the contents of E1 here. Uh, otherwise, leave it blank. Okay, now if you don't understand this formula or if it's just confusing to you, just copy it. Uh, there's a chance for you to write, write it down or pause your video and, and copy it. Um, that's the formula you want to use, and just remember you make sure you have the cells referring to the right place. Uh, most people have a header uh, row, so nor normally you'll start with an A2. If, if your key keywords are in an A, if your keywords were here, you would refer to B. Okay. Um, and then you have E1, which again, you could actually just put the word C and C in here, for example, which is pretty easy to do. However, then you can't copy it and, and use the, you know, it's going to, um, it won't be copyable over. So it's much better, much easier to actually just have it refer to this cell. And that way you could make as many of these categories as you want. And all you've got to do is drag the formula over. I could put, you know, um, uh, machines in here, whoops, machines and um, you know, welding or something like that. My own key, whatever keywords I want, it would become that would become a category. So um, now that we've kind of found, figured out our categories, I was going to copy the formula over. So notice this form, the same formula is in all of these, but I put a string value next to the A2 because as I drag to the right, I always wanted to make sure it continues to refer to A2. But the other ones I wanted to, I didn't put a string value because I, I do want it to move. Uh, and refer to whatever's over the current cell. So if you're a beginning Excel user, this might be a little confusing, but um, just if you just copy the formula, you'll be fine, even if you don't under totally understand it. Now I want to I want to drag these formulas down here. So I'm going to put a little marker at the bottom. I'm just going to drag down like this, um, and it's right now it's just it's figuring out uh, all the cells. Oh, I know what else I did. Um, I need to also include. I need to freeze the one. So that's another little little uh, mistake I made here. So let's freeze the one uh, right here so that it, it knows. Um, now notice I'm not freezing the two in this case because I still want it to move down with me as I scroll down. I still want it to refer to this one. 
but I always wanted to refer to the one column here, so that's why I put the string that way. Now again, I'm going to copy this over, and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and bring it down there, and look how nicely it populates. Now what it's done, in case you don't know exactly what just happened there, is it flagged all of those keywords um, with um, with the, the 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 formula, and you can see exactly which ones contain which ones. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and save my work. I'm going to go ahead and save as values here, paste as values. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to sort this by those same uh, categories. And I'm going to sort it by, um, I like to go with the more rare ones first for various reasons. Um, because I'm, I'm going to probably go with a rare one. The, the, so right now my rare one might be welding. So I'm going to go from basically from right to left as far as my sort order. You can sort them however you want, um, but it has to do with, um, I want I want to pick out the ones I want to highlight the ones that are the most rare so I want to sort those first but that's sort of a judgment call you can do it however however you want um, I think that's all of them and now I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit OK and notice how as I scroll down here um, we see each of the categories okay now notice some of them have two right like um, like this one has CNC and router and plasma because the keyword is CNC plasma and router. Okay, so it's obviously some will be belong to more than one category, which is totally fine. Um, but uh, you can see that welding ends up down here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to save, as I've already saved as values. Now I'm just going to create a little uh, category column right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and call each one what I think it should be. This one clearly should be CNC because it's only CNC. There's no other choice there for that one. Now, this part's kind of manual. There's, there's a way to set this up more automatically, but there's a, some judgment calls that have to be made here. Like this one, it refers to cutting and CNC. I could choose to do it either way. I'm gonna go ahead and leave, my, my decision is to leave, if it has CNC in it, I'm gonna leave it as, uh, as, the, uh, as the category, which means we're gonna deal with most of these. Now, again, that's a judgment call. You could decide to call this one plasma. That's up to however you wanna do your categorization scheme different topic though that's more of a judgment call I'm gonna to choose to leave it as CNC if it's got two next I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with cutting for the next one again what I'm doing right now is I'm just sort of saying what category should each keyword at the left fall into scroll down to cutting um, and then let's go over to this one has plasma which I'm just gonna use as plasma this one has table in it so that'll be that next keyword. Um, this one also has C and C as well. Um, now I could have defaulted differently and do different. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Um, again, these are all decision rules that you can decide as the person making the categories as far as if it has a conflict of two, what you want to do. Um, and moving on down the list, got router here. I'm going to keeping the router. Now between plasma and table, I'm going to, I want to do plasma. That's just a decision I'm making. I'm going to, I want it to be plasma. Copy those down. And almost done here. We've got, I'm going to go ahead and put back with CNC for these guys. Um, and I'm going to put plasma for these. Again, ar arbitrary, how you want to do it on the, in this case. I'm going to do CNC for these guys. And I'm going to do plasma for the last two. Now, I'm almost done here, so now I've got my categories. I can ignore these now, but I'm going to leave them in there, and I'm going to sort by category. Um, and I'm just going to see what I came up with. There's our categories. And if I want to, I can even run a pivot table to see how many I got of each kind. This is totally optional. <clears throat> but it looks like I have 1148 CNCs down to 32 tables. Now, if I had one or two of something, I might decide to collapse that into a different category. So, yep, there's a lot going on here, but um, that's a pretty easy way to, to uh, categorize. And remember, if we had done this manually, just going through one by one, it might have taken an hour to, to categorize all these. It took us about seven or eight minutes. So there we go. Um, good luck.